position's locked. He might get a finish here. Outstanding. And there it is. Outstanding. And made noise. Bonus money for the finish of Leonard Garcia. Only twister in UFC history. Mark Hominick knockout 6.2 seconds. Second fastest knockout in UFC history. And then he was double bonus in the main event against Dustin Poirier. So this guy has produced highlight after highlight, returned from the military service and knocked out Dennis Bermudez. This is one of the best featherweights in the world. And when he's made the walk, Joe, he has proven that every time. Chan Sung Jung is the most successful mixed martial arts fighter to ever come out of Korea. The man has outstanding skills in all areas of the game and the nickname Korean Zombie came from his ridiculous ability to absorb punishment. So here's the stun gun, Dong Hyun Kim. This is a man who puts South Korea on the UFC map. Very talented southpaw, well-rounded fighter with a great judo game. Very good with his takedowns, but also has a lot of power. And he's a guy who enters that pocket with a fearlessness, Joe, that has endeared him to UFC fans around the world. Dong Young Kim is an extremely talented judo player and a well-rounded mixed martial artist. Very effective takedowns, a solid submission game, and he has some power in that straight left of his. tape for this heavyweight fight. Kim is six years his senior. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, five losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, the Korean Zombie Chan Sung Gong! And now the music is opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 22 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, and 1 no contest. He's down at 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the stun gun, the young kid! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Here we go. All right, round one is underway. The South Korean Dong Hyun Kim is back. Oh! Really missed with that right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's trying to take the back here. Look at this. He's got the Japanese necktie locked in. He is really cranking down on this Japanese necktie wow. now. Full him out. He's posturing up here in half guard position. Oh, look at this. Then he's out. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Side control again. Excellent movement here on the ground. Tries to pass, but can't. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Kim gets in the clinch. He secures double underhooks. Now he's got over on. Oh, lands a hip toss now. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Huge hammer fist. That could be the beginning of the end. He's back to side control. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. And 
Jones got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Petroleum looks for the choke. He dropped down for it. That choke is deep. Oh, look at that. Slips right out of it. He's got full guard. One minute now to go in round one. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Oh, he gets reversed. And he executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. He's trying to pass here. Final seconds here of round one. Round two is next. Hey, stop! Let's take a look at it again here. Let's take a look at it again. Beautiful submission attempt. It looks good, but can't get it. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Ready? Ready? All right, round two. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off. Oh, big right hand. huge right hand! This could be it right here. Nice leg kick. up in his opponent's guard. He's looking to take the back. Kim with a dominant position here, really making those knees count. He's going after the twister. He's got it here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Kim. He's back in half guard now. He postures into place. And he establishes full mount. Martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Kim. Landed that one. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Mounts again. Looks like he went for an arm bar here. He's in full mount here, he's looking for the arm bar, and his arm is out. He's got one leg in, in between him, so he's in half guard here. Oh, man, I love it. He's got it. Full mount. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Trip. He's looking for the anaconda choke here. It looks like this anaconda choke is sunk in for him. That's a deep choke. This anaconda choke is getting tighter and tighter. He might have to tap. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. All right, that's the end of round number two. Listen, he's getting a little too close with these submission attempts. I want this off. 
Here's a huge punch that stuns. And here we see a perfectly executed trip. Beautiful submission attempt here, but right at the end, he slips out. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. His uppercut is blocked. staying busy. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Beautiful hip toss. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Inside control. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Three minutes to go in round three. Looking for the neck. Oh, he lost the position. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Lands a trip and gets him on the ground. Oh, look at that! Look at that transition! He's in half guard here. Working on another submission attempt here. And he's out of the triangle. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Oh, this is not good. Kim gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Mounts again. And busy as he looks to improve position here trying to get that arm underneath the chin. It looks like this submission's locked. He might get a finish here. Outstanding. And there it is. Outstanding. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bang Young